now I'm going to finish what it said here okay and the last words I said and the angel shall come forth and the servant of the wicked from among the, the just and shall among the just and shall be cast into the furnace of fire there shall be welling and grisping of their teeth now what the Lord God is talking about what the Lord is talking about here brothers and sisters he is talking people are you know here we go again I ain't going to get into the subject there's only one way to heaven and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus is the same yesterday and he's the same today and he's the same forever and Jesus says come unto me all you that are laboring heavy laden and I will give you rest Jesus is saying in this parable that we are to walk and talk and and stand and stay in his word he said he is going to come and he's going to gather get his angels to gather together that parables talking about separation of the body of Christ the sinners from the terrors there are wolves and sheep clothing there's people out there there's so many different types of ministry yes we're saved by grace through Jesus through the blood of Jesus and Jesus alone there is no other way to heaven only through Jesus you can't get there any other way only through Yeshua now you're going to choose which way you're going to take now what the Lord is saying now if he's going to separate the sheaves from the goats it's not the sinners I mean the chef the, the, the wheat from the chef the sheaf you know what I'm saying and the tares from the wheat he's not talking about sinners they're already on their way to the pit he is talking about the child of God that is playing the game of the word where are you at Shauna I can't hear you okay she's in the pool and okay and uh, it is talking about well the master is talking about that there's going to be a separation and he's going to send his angels to gather and he's going to sh separate because of today's world you can't tell and it's a shame to say the true who's the true believer and who is not the true believer because people are playing with church you got to believe in the blood of the cross you got to believe in the death and the resurrection of Jesus you got to believe that Jesus um, came from heaven and he came in a man in a virgin you got to believe he came from a virgin birth you got to believe that he is the son of man and he is the son of God you got to believe that he um, is the only way to get to back to the father he is the only way that um, to make it into the kingdom of God he says I am the way and the truth and the life no man can come unto the Father except through me now there's people going out there there's so much democracy I don't can't pronounce the word um, saying that you, you're going to heaven no matter what you do if you just accept Jesus once in your life you got to walk and talk and be with Jesus you got to speak of him you got to serve him I'm looking at the time and it's hard to see out here in this bright California sunshine my, my daughters um, San, um, San Diego but you got to um, to take the Word of God and go forth with the Word of God daily you got to pray for the nations as he says he says he says um, you, t you warn every go into the world and you teach them I know you hear me saying this all the time but truth is truth it's not my word it's his word my words don't mean nothing only his word means something and Jesus loves you and he gave his son and I mean God gave Jesus to you and he is the only way you're getting into heaven and there will be a separation and there will be people to think they have the form of godliness but they deny the blood of Jesus they deny the resurrection of Jesus they deny um, 
the, 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 the he's the only way to heaven they deny the virgin birth they deny Adam and Eve they think the world and the earth is the same thing they um, do not believe um, that that they can, a Christian can walk away from the Lord. See, Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But you can have a choice to walk away from God. And you go into the Lord says in his word, the dog turns to his vomit. And for you instead of soothsayers and, and the ones that tell me I'm going to hell and I don't know God, excuse me, I do know who God is. I know who Yeshua is. I know God very well. And because I can't quote you chapter and verse makes you, you feel puffed up in your mind that you know the word more than me. Well, if you really know the word of God, then you know what I'm saying. If you say you know the word and you, you, you're so grounded in the word of God, then you would know what I'm speaking is in the word of God. You would know as a child of the living God, well, that is where, yeah, Jesus did say that. Yeah, that is in there. Because you would know where the chapter and verse is since you all know who the, not all you, but you that are puffed up. I'm be meeting a lot of puffed up Christians on here. I'm not going to deny Jesus in any shape, form, or fashion. He is the Son of God, and you ain't getting into heaven without Yeshua. You ain't getting nowhere without the blood you ain't getting nowhere he says put your helmet of salvation on put your breastplate of righteousness on he says grip your loins with the true shod your feet with the gospel of peace he said you put the um shield of faith on that means quenching every fiery dart of the enemy and that means the attack of the enemy and he says, put the shield of faith on, I mean, the sword of the Spirit on. That is the Holy Spirit. The greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. That is the name of Jesus. That is, or Yeshua. That is um, the blood. That is the resurrection power of Jesus in him alone. That is what we're in here and why we're here. And we're nothing without him, but we are everything with Jesus. Now, you're going to have to make your choices to believe the word or not now i read this this will be the second offspring to what i read you read it and you study that word and you ask god to show you what he is saying in that word because god is not a joke and god is not deceptional and god shows you what he means when he speaks in his word well father god i plant your word out there Lord Jesus and God it's up to the Holy Spirit to open the eyes of the blind and if you don't know Jesus hey say Jesus I am a sinner you have to confess you are a sinner you have to realize wow this man laid his life down and he rose again and he ripped Satan of hell in the grave or the spirit of death of hell and in the grave he took great he took the keys out of death again and he defeated Satan at Calvary and he rose again and he went to the right hand of the father and put see he knew no sin and he became sin and and, and Jesus knew no um, sin and he became sin we knew no righteousness and we became righteous just tell him and confess, Lord, I have so many sins, I cannot confess them, but forgive me. If you have any forgiveness in your heart, ask Him to forgive you and cleanse you from all that unforgiveness. Lord, if I have ought, if anybody hurt me, if I hurt anybody, unbeknownst or knowance, forgive me. If you knew you really hurt someone really bad, go to that person and ask them to forgive you. And repent and then say, open your word to me, God. You're, you, you, you're no respecter of person. Welcome to the kingdom. All heaven and the angels rejoice over your king, over his kingdom. He loves you very much. And he is so we can be. And he gave so you and I can live forever. And the Lord is coming very soon. Very, very soon. And he loves you. And see you all in heaven if the rapture takes place before I get home. Love you in Jesus' name. That is she could eat that a sin on a matata, she could eat here. Is she on a matata, she could eat that a sin on a matata, she could eat that a sin on a matata. Is she could eat that a sin on a matata, she in a matata, she could eat there. Is she could eat that a she could eat that a sin on a matata, she could eat there. Is she in a matata, that is she in a matata.